Chef Peter Kinsey from Zupa's in Nina joins us this morning. Uh, we're thinking spring and fresh, and right. a salad is a great way to go. Absolutely. We're going to make a, a strawberry goat cheese salad. And I always think of... Uh, start thinking of strawberries in spring because they start coming from Florida and then working their way up. So, so we're going to start with the salad. We have spring greens right here, mm -hmm. and we're going to take some strawberries, which are just sliced strawberries. They're pretty nice at the store right now. So yeah, gonna... I've noticed that they're starting to get you know yeah. more red and right. <laughs> yeah, and they actually light. taste like something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that, and then we're going to put some candied walnuts on here. Mm -hmm. And how we candy the walnuts? You can just use plain walnuts, but if you want to candy them. There's lots of recipes online, but all you do is take a little bit, it's basically taking a little bit of sugar and some egg whites, and you toss the, the nuts in the sugar and the egg whites, and then you toast it in the oven. Oh, it kind of gets a candy wonderful. crunch. But you could use can just regular walnuts, too. Okay. So we have some of those. And then we're going to take a little bit of goat cheese and just crumble a little bit of goat cheese on here. Mm -hmm. A little trick about goat cheese when you buy it in the store, if you throw it in the freezer yeah. right before you crumble it, it comes, you know, you get it in smaller pieces. Gotcha. Because otherwise it's so soft, right? right? Yeah. yeah, if it sits out for a while, just a big clump. So that's kind of a big piece. But So the goat cheese right there. Okay. And then we have another thing, honey onions. Honey onions. Right. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you briefly how to make them. So we take hun uh, one red onion right here, we mm -hmm. sliced it. And we take a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar, okay. Just enough to coat it and kind of toss it. And then we're going to put a little bit of honey. smells wonderful. And then we're just going to toss that. Pinch of salt and pepper. And we're going to just bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes. At like what temperature? 350 do you think? for about 15 minutes. And it just kind of stews the onions and makes them uh, sweeter in flavor. Gets rid of that harsh bitter flavor for the onions and just kind of works a little bit. You know, makes it a little sweeter with the strawberries and stuff. And they get that caramelized exactly. brown color. Nice. So we're going to put those on the salad. Oh, that looks amazing so far. And then we need a dressing. So we're going to make a vinaigrette. Okay. We're going to make a strawberry balsamic vinaigrette. So we're going to take a blender. Mm-hmm. And we're going to put some fresh strawberries in there. About This is going to be about a pint, about two cups. And then we're going to take a pinch of salt and pepper. And we just need a little bit of sugar. Sometimes if the strawberries are really, really ripe, then it, you might not need very much. But we're just going to put like a about a quarter of a cup in there. Okay. And then we're going to add balsamic vinegar. When you make a vinaigrette, it's always two to one. So if you started with one cup of vinegar, you add two cups of oil. Oh boy. Okay. Got it. So we have one cup of balsamic. We're going to puree that. And we want to add the oil slowly. So I'm going to first get this going. And pop this lid right off. We're add the oil. Okay. And slowly add it. By slowly adding it, it, um, it emulsifies it, and then it won't be broken. Yeah. It'll actually last in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks. I was going to ask, yeah. you know, that's perfect to keep in the refrigerator. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, not that slowly. You don't want to dump it all in at once. And then... And you shut it off. You can see we have this. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful vinaigrettes. I can let you add a little taste of it. Absolutely. I think it's a nice vinaigrette. It goes great with this salad. Oh wow! Isn't that good? Oh, you yeah. can really taste the strawberry, right. but yet it has like it's kind of savory too. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the balsamic and strawberries just go really well together. So excellent. Well, uh, Chef Peter, you're going to be making a quiche next, right? Yeah, we're going to make asparagus ne quiche yeah. in our next hour. Perfect to go with this salad. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're we'll welcome. be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.